fingerprints. If we zoom in, we can find this is a bridge ending or a termination point. This is this is called. Yeah, yeah. You will do this. You tell us what you want to do. Minutia, single minutia, 
and the neighborhood, the type of neighborhood. And later, what uh, in the in the matching, what they will be doing is that they will be matching two when you are matching two minutia, they will find out the distance between two cylinders in this. But the point is that you have to understand, right? I am uh, still I am not clear. You have to explain in next meeting because he is planning for a total three meetings. So this is the first meeting, right? So in the second meeting, you must be able to tell me what is cylinder, how you are forming exact limit respect to even some data. You show me that how you are cleaning the. Okay. Cylinder you got it. And once you know that, these are cylinders. This is the top view of the cylinder or one slice view of the cylinder. This is the, this is the minus point for which the cylinder is constructed. And the minus points lying inside the radius are fixed radius. Huh? How you are getting again the radius? The points are near. You are telling the distance and angle. No, we actually have the minutia points, means we will have the image, we will construct the minutia this points. This is the cylinder, right? This is a cylinder, yes. This is a one cylinder. This is a one slice. cylinder, we wanted to show that. This is a one cylinder? The one center slice. pixel, that's mm -hmm. M. The, that's the center pixel, with respect to which? Yeah. All the cylinder lying in there. No, no, no. Only oh, all the minutia points. Uh, all the minutia points which are within this R, they will be considered to, uh, to create the cylinder for this minutia habit. And then uh, that cylinder is constructed for single minutia. For every minutia in the same way, they will be having cylinder. Okay. And then when you are matching, you match these cylinders. And what he here, the this is the center point, and then for every uh, minutia, the orientation is also shown. So when you are considering, say, M and any <coughs> M dash or M, M1 or M2, then you will be having one that is the Euclidean distance, other is the orientation difference. Orientation difference will be telling that which is that slice where this minutia will be uh, contributing, and within that slice, what is the contribution or how much distance it is that will be decided in the. In such a way, cylinders will there will be n. if there are n minutia points, there will be n cylinders for a single image. As we are to check if the if two images are similar, we will construct a global cylinder and we will check if the cylinders are same. If the, if the cylinders are similar and using this go, global score we will there will be a threshold and we, will, we can declare if the fingerprints are similar or not and experimental experimental results show that this algorithm is very effective when compared to other algorithms these are different data structures and these are four different methods of it, which we can combine data, database is not data structure yeah database is so. These are four different methods by which we can combine the local cylinders into a global one. And these are some other algorithms proposed by some other. ER is equal error rate and FMR is false match rate. As so these, we are, these are not required now. Why do you need this? I'm just showing that this algorithm is very effective when compared no, no, to others. That's okay. You know, once you have decided and he has given you the paper, your aim is to implement that one and show that it works on our database. Whether it is effective there or not, we don't care. Right? Yes. Agreed? Yes. So, what is your time chart? Okay, go to the yeah, next slide. Thank you. And coding will be mainly done in MATLAB. Uh, right. uh, now you tell us, the way. can you complete the whole task? Answer is yes or no. Yes, um, it is a very big one, but I am a big one. This paper. Paper is new one or problem is new one? The algorithm as a to total. So I will be taking the help of senior Virendra Meena. He is also doing his thesis on this paper. Okay. I will test him with Meena. So some part that he wants, he will do. So draw it then. What you will be doing or what Meena will be doing? We have not yet still discussed it about it. What is your plan? What is your plan? Plan? See, the time is very short, one month time. And in, in this one month, how much you can do it? Um, I will be mainly calculating that year, sir. <laughs> Equal error rate. Means how can you compute without implementing the whole algorithm? After implementing the whole algorithm. So we will actually implement the whole algorithm, but performance tuning and things, because there are something like 20 parameters in there. 
So what I have suggested is that you start holding the Mahisha cylinder. You hold, then you hold the magic also, and then. See, my suggestion would be that uh, do not expect from him a total system. You let him create up to the cylinder and distance between the two cylinders. Okay, up to this. Right? But uh, let him do that much, but it should be correct in all respects. Yes, yes. Right? Okay, sir. Because there are several issues will come. Now, Manisha points. You are thinking Manisha points very easily. You get it. But if uh, most of the time, what we observe, there are two Manisha points. Some of the false Manisha points. Some of them are true but not detected. All those things will come. So, how are you going to handle those issues? Are there? Uh, yeah, for two different images, for one image we might get 80 or something like minus mm -hmm. 80 minus points and for another 70. This 80 points will not be true. Yeah. Some of them are false. We have to check if we oh. are. Oh. As Both we are checking for Euclidean distances, we have to skip, we have to keep some threshold or something like that. Maybe we'll more than 50. We'll check this one. First, mm -hmm. first problem for you is that can you get all two minus points? Mm -hmm. All two. That is the important thing because if there is a false Manisha point, then you will get the false cylinder. If we have to, if we have to only get only true Manisha points, then the number of Manisha points we can get means as we will less, be less, less, less. Let it be because by using the false Manisha point, you are in problem. Right? Where is it here? So first you look for the how to get the two Manisha points, then how to create the cylinder, and if possible, the difference between the distance between the two cylinders. Distance of the two cylinders is more standard. So I am writing down that first part is that you will be finding the two Manisha points and then cylinder and calculator. Good morning everyone. My project is to estimate the uh, iris image quality. So problems. These are the different attributes of image. Iris image will be affect the its quality, focus, motion blur, occlusion, contrast and illumination, dilation and specular definition. And this is the process to estimate the quality of an iris image. So input. First we get an input image, we segment it. Then normalize it, estimate various attributes, then quantify them and uh, fuse them to get a quality score. And based on this, we assign a quality to it. So you, you need only the, the three components? Uh, this component. Those Ajit. components are available. Yeah. We will get input image, segmented image, normalized image. These are available? Yeah, are available. So they are not, you, you need only this, uh, you no, find out these two only, this, this one and this. this. Right, that's different again. Yes. Okay. So what are the attributes you are telling? Motion blur? Motion blur, focus, focus, vision, contrast and illumination, dilation in group. In a group with a lavish, Mr. Yes. Is that Yes. So you are presenting after him? No. See, what we have decided, they have to take the two projects, but jointly yes. they yes. can do. So it is basically a complete recognition system. So you will be assessing first the quality and then the recognition also. Yes, both of them. But you will be representing the recognition. That is okay. Okay. So Aditi given a thesis of a plastic instrument. So I... Always. So the focusing image can be calculated by convolving the input image with this kernel. And Higher the response from the converted image, higher much focus is the input image. What well, sir, what I have suggested is that you take this thesis, read it, but uh, you have to come up with two, three, at least two, three more parameters. And if you find something interesting, you want to change some of this kernel. No, so I, I am presenting this, but I have gained from. Okay, ha, that, that is fine. I am just uh, saying. That can be done from later stage. When I'm fully. Ah, what do you First, I read the whole, whole this whole, the person and what I'm 
gain from what I learned from this, and I will doing element on on his algorithms and particular and later part. Because with this Abdul, I mean, with you and uh, uh, this Lavesh, what I have given is that one pieces which have something and the recognition part. Yeah. For recognition part, you can code as it is, whatever the yeah. paper I will be giving you. But for the quality, you can't do because this code is available. If yeah. you want, we can give this code also to you. You have to enhance this code. You say that, okay, these are the points where it is failing, we are improving it. And these are two, three more parameters, at least two, three more parameters that you feel that can fit into it and uh, uh, make the quality even better. So I am, so you are just showing that what, what you have read. Yeah. <coughs> when the image is focused and the, when formatting the kernel shown above, the output is this. And in the focusing with the function. See, it's a little tell you that while you will be taking the IDC way, then you should take only the Gola part while you are taking the whole part. Huh? For, 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 for some teachers, we can. Uh, let's say for contrast and illusion. For focus, focus, for focus, 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 Yes or no? Yes or no? So that has to be studied. This is missing. Right? And moreover, if you observe that on which one is, why, why he has considered that mass to sum is zero? You will see that he is mass to take that sum. So that we have to justify, we could have written in different way also, that horizontally and vertically, you will increase the, say you could have taken 0 instead of minus 1, those things can be, okay, so mask, the mask you have to modify properly. Contrast and elevation is a super standard. Yes. Contrast and elevation. Divide the three different parts. And let's say estimate this ratio. The number of pixels in second group. This is also again on the whole large image. But if you take the small only IDs part, then you will not get 225. Yes. Something different, but in range you will change. And range can be given. And the ratio distance, the radius, the area, this area, this is also the children. The ratio of IBS region available to the total area of this. Whatever it is, my, I am little afraid that you should not come up with unbeds material and give it, sir, I have done it. So that will not work out. Let it be clear. These are for points you will be studying. Yes, sir. No, I will be you will try to point. improve the on-bridge parameter. Yes. Right? Yes. But, After but no, 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 not only on KCR. You take our database. Yes, sir. I will take it. This peculiar reflection. So now I understood. If all the parameters will be starting from on this this is. And then you will be improving or I am sure that the result is deteriorated the result. You will be improving yes. and also you will be testing on IIT Kanpur data. Yes. Is it okay? Yes. okay. And you, have, you will be able to do it up to this. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. And I don't think that will help the Uh, so good morning.
morning everyone, I am Lovish. No, no, I want to write on over on that. Because we don't want to get biased with your names. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, my project in this course is Loisy IRS uh, uh, Recognition Integrated screen, uh, Scheme. So, uh, basically, there are a few preliminary uh, measures that I'll be taking before uh, uh, reaching the uh, normalized iris image. What I'll be doing is, for, I'll be getting a segmented iris <coughs> image. So, that will contain basically the inner radius uh, and outer radius of the pupil. And uh, I'll be uh, removing the eyelids, eyelashes, and uh, the reflections uh, uh, from the image uh, taken from the uh, taking the clues from the thesis by Mr. Amit Bandele. So in that, so he's taking so that will mostly be the same. But now comes the main part. Uh, the author of this paper, uh, Maria D. Marshiko and Daniel Rico, claims that they have uh, that their algorithm works for uh, any quality parameters where there is less uh, less brightness, less light and when there is accurate light. So basically what I will be doing is implementing this paper. So this paper has uh, got two, uh, the algorithm has got to run in two uh, iterations. First they, they have taken a matrix, that, that this method they are calling the local binary pattern. So they are observing the local binary patterns um, by taking only the horizontal strips, not the uh, vertical strips. That uh, claiming that it, it will take less time if we only take the horizontal strips in local bi binary patterns. So this basically is the. You have, first you have the iris strip. Yeah, I have the iris strip, and uh, they that only. Is a, that is a binary number. Yeah, they, this is a binary number. So they are classifying it into the histograms by only taking the horizontal strips out of it. Not, they are not taking the whole matrix and iterating it over the uh, uh, normalized okay. iris. Iris, iris uh, this strip is uh, not the binary sir. Uh, so you are not making binary. Uh -huh. yes, you are not, see, there are two ways. One is that just whatever the grayscale image is there, mm -hmm. you get it. Another mm -hmm. one is that no, I want that uh, J1 thresholding, I will make it and I will make it. No, it is a grayscale A grayscale So you will be getting the whole right? strip, just okay. check. Yeah. I will be taking the strip and further to find the mist, they are, they are taking two algorithms like one is local binary patterns and other is like uh, binary large objects to distinguish the features like two the type of feature, yeah, they are two, the two type of features they are uh, mis checking out. So first is local binary patterns and in that uh, what they, they have done a slight variation. What is the second one? Second is the uh, binary large objects in which they are uh, applying the Laplacian of Gaussian on all uh, on the whole <coughs> image and Gaussian to sm first smooth and smoothen the image and uh, Laplacian to find the edges better. Two so, different features yeah. that you will be getting and then they will be fusing the results of Yeah, they, they are like then finding the Hamming distance between <coughs> both the images and finally what they are doing is taking the 50% of both the algorithm and then checking out that if, the, yeah, if it matches with the like and uh, they are also claiming that the difference in like if you check only by one algorithm then the difference between the two images come miss comes out to be different but the uh, common yeah. thing but if you add both the results then it comes out so, so basically he wants to do the multi-model yeah this is a multi-model multi 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 yeah. multi very good so can you do it yes good uh, and actually, if you can do it, it will be very useful for us. Multi algorithm. And if required, then you use the Omit bundle also, I have to also. Uh, but uh, like, uh, what I want to do is because this involves something like I have to check out new things like uh, checking if this strip in only horizontal uh, sense. So, uh, can I start on the, do I have to remove the occlusion and all this, or I can I directly start on the occlusion and whatever we have? So from the normalized image, I can start there. Yeah, you have the normalized image, you have the optical mask along with it, you have the full image, you have the segmented image, whatever you want, every image, up to segmentation we have. After that, this paper starts. Yeah, yeah. After yeah. that. We will provide you the segmented image. Segmented image is you want to give the Gola or you want to give the RGS? If, if you yes. want Gola, then you can also get, there is a text file of R1, R2. Yeah. So that is a text file and if you want that, uh, 
basically you want the uh, script because they are also working on that normalized script. So, so normalized and grayscale, grayscale, or high script, high script, along with the mask also. Because when you are matching the having distance, but right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. So you want that mask. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to use those bits. So the occlusion will be removed in that. Okay. Every the eyelids are left. Yeah. Good morning, Yadav. Myself, Suresh. My rule number is Y9610. I am a dual agent student. Today I am going to present my area of is iris recognition and the paper which I am going to present is effective iris recognition by characterizing key local variations. This is this paper is from Lima and Dr. TN TNU Tan. And my mentor is Sri Aditya sir. So recently iris recognition has gained its significant actually iris image normalization. You want from us or you will be writing your own code. So one day signal you will be creating. Yes sir, one day signals I will be creating okay. using the characteristic features in the iris. From that uh, feature, I will extract a feature vector using the 1D signals and after the extracting the feature vector, then the matching will be done using the two-step approach. Original feature vector is expanded into a binary feature vector and after similarity between a pair of ex, uh, expanded feature vectors is calculated so using ex exclusive. So what you want, you want that from us that normalized. normalized Strip, yes, sir. right? Afterwards, I will be generating a 1D signal. signal, and then from that signal, I will be seeing the matching. Using, no, no, 1D signal, we have to binarize the line with the exit operation. So, we have given a formula to come ah, ah, So, so ah. that part you have to do. Yes, sir. So, only you want from us the normalized strip, yes, sir. right? Yes, strip. Yes, sir. After that, you will be obtaining the binarized strip yes, and then exit operation. Will be yes, and will you take care hmm. the rotation part? Normal space here, and then, you know, uh, the IDs may be rotated because of camera. I haven't. No, it's changed that one. Okay. Well, you have a strip, another strip. In the operation, it's so not rotated over, so it's not going to happen. First, you have a translation of straight strip, not rotated. Yes, this is really that. Translation is that. So, there is a specific type of family distance calculation. So, it is written in the Do you want to send me this presentation if it is? I will be uploading that on the website. So each of you will send me that. Okay, my uh, term project is on uh, four slap finger segmentation. I am given this image, I have to take out this part. So this is something, some code which I have already written. I will just explain about what I have written and what I have got. So in this, first I have inverted the image and then I have just uh, run uh, uh, iteration from uh, column wise. As soon as I detect a density, I take it as uh, something like x1. And as soon as I, I don't, uh, I am uh, not getting any intensity, I get the next one. So this is the code which I have wrote and I have got this part. Provided, provided, provided it is straight. Huh? Provided the orientation is straight. Normal orientation is straight. Sir. There is no overlap between the two overlap fingers. Overlapping between the two fingers. Even if the orientation is not straight, then it will uh, it will overlap. Then also it will create a problem. Right, yeah. Yeah. But there is no problem. Yes. And uh, in fact, so what you will be doing, you are. I've, I've, you will be scanning, Rasta scanning you will be doing wherever you are getting the first noise. Yes, the column is, I am just uh, uh, adding all the column, whatever uh, column uh, intensity I am getting. So how are you going to read the column wise data? In a normal uh, loop. So Rasta scanning, the display you read, it is only this way. No? Yes, you can I follow the column wise for loop. Okay. That's what I have done. So and you are reading this way. Yes, sir, this way. Okay. And uh, and whenever I get an uh, this thing, so I have uh, in a that is uh, as Sarah told, the image is straight. Like if there is a gap between the fingers, 
then uh, this should work and uh, if there is an orientation that uh, if there is an orientation then I will have to straighten it. Huh? Uh, if there is an orientation difference, like if it is the hand is slightly tilted. How are we going to know that there is an orientation? So that I have um, not it. This is the part which I have done. This, this thing I mean was being done by Nishant. So he can uh, uh, estimate the orientation and once we got the orientation of the hand we can straight it. So what I have said is that you start with this. And if it is on some uh, uh, orientation, then we can calculate it and I will be providing you the, that part. Yes. But your expect, uh, the expectation will be something, I mean, given this thing, you will be uh, dividing it into the uh, respective ROI that we want in a new way. I mean, shouldn't we yeah, it shouldn't be the other condition. It will be totally different from this. So this is the one finger, I have taken one finger and then I have done it row wise. I can go. If I get this too, then I can start scanning like this and then identify. This is a graph which I have got, I have not been able to. So this is the first point at which I start detecting uh, this intensity, graph of an intensity value. And this is the point of actual point where uh, that uh, na, that uh, knuckle, that point is coming. But uh, this I will have to identify, I, am, I don't know so how that to. That is what I have said that we want the knuckle line. So that you can express. Yes, so that mm -hmm. you can express. So, so I have expressed one. Yes. Segmentation of the. Up to the half one. So this is what I have got. So I have to extract this point where uh, this is the actual point of that thing. The, this is the work I have done. Up to this here, then no, we want that thing. So it is working. When is it you have to ensure that if it is overlap? Overlap and if it is rotated, rotated. by what degree of rotation you can handle? See, if it is a 90 degree, you cannot do. Whatever way you follow, you cannot do. Right? So if there is maybe 20 degree, 10 degree, 30 degree, but generally in a figure that this are four slab is always, you know, either cooperative method or if it is a non-cooperative, then I have to draw myself that camera in such a way that it is almost I get the state for me. Right? So maybe five, ten degree overlap orientation will be not more than that. So you have to ensure that. But there are some people I have seen yes. there one finger is straight and another finger is you know weird. You should not think that one straight and the other one is straight. Gap between the fingers. Not only really, gap between the fingers. So what Nishan has done, he has calculated the global Plus orientation of the hand. What you can do is that you find out the orientation of a finger, individual finger, using the same code. You drop it into a get a single finger, find out the local orientation of that finger and then straight it and then drop it. And then find out the knuckle line and things like that. You can do it. So the project is finger knuckle print recognition and I will be using technique called as local and global information combining. Knuckle recognition. Yes sir. And technique is local and global information combination. So basically these steps are involved in recognition, image acquisition, ROI extraction, feature extraction and matching. So I will be starting from 3 and 4, 1 and 2 will be uh, given to you. So I have read 3 papers related to my project and those 3 papers talks about these 3 techniques. First is phase only correlation, second is gamer filtering technique and third is local global information combination. So I will be doing the third one. And uh, the third one is nothing but a fusion of uh, these two techniques. Basically, by doing the fusion, the performance is uh, drastically improved. That is why we are doing fusion. As you can see from the results, what is that? So the, uh, if the false acceptance rate is kept constant at 1.1 into 10 to the power minus 3, then the uh, POC technique. Oh, that is the thing. Last one? Uh. The LGIT technique. Uh, the local global information combination, the ER rate is 0 0.402 percent and uh, FFR, FRR rate is 0 0.9680 percent. Once you fix FAR, then this is the FRR. This is the, this is the, this is the FAR. FAR is equal to this, then FRR is this. Yes. And, and the ER is this. Means it is not related to this. It's the other thing which is 0 0.4. When both of these are equal. This is the state of the art. This is the state. 
So the steps involved are first uh, I have been given two ROIs. I will calculate the band limited phase only correlation. The band limited uh, actually POC is an improvement over POC. It removes the high frequency components and which are prone to noise. Uh, it basically limits the range of spectrum of FKP image, finger and print image. Okay. After calculating BLPOC function, the peak, uh, I will calculate the global matching distance which will be 1 minus peak of the BLPOC function. This is the global matching distance. Then I will create volume, volume, volume. So they have created the then I will create some comparative code maps of F and G and uh, calculate the local matching distance and then finally I will fuse the results of both two. These are certain weights which are used in the paper. So, I will so be you, you want to implement only that algorithm? That algorithm. And I will be getting this uh, final matching distance from it.
because you have the um, extracted ROI. Now you wanted to estimate the quality of this ROI, but ultimately you are using this comp code for your recognition purpose. And if you are suggesting, uh, telling something about the quality of this thing which you are not using, so probably you can also think of that what is the quality of a comp code. There are some, some measures by which you can estimate the quality of the comp code. That will also be very useful because ultimately you are using that thing for the recognition. And it is somewhat derived from the original image. But instead of that, you are, you can, one parameter can be that what is the quality of the comp code. Somehow you can think about it. But you won't find any paper on finger knuckle quality. No, but you tell me one day that in the knuckle of the lines, right? Yes. Those lines are also can be considered the this type of thing. Yes, yes, that's what so I have said. So uh, I have given them the pieces of yes, and uh, yes. anyway. So whatever bits and pieces that you can you can get from that, which can be useful, applicable here. Directly I can say that occlusion of that uh, iris will not be here. Yes. But it will be like that the specular no, reflection. Sure. The specular reflection mm -hmm. in iris it is there in a different form, but in knuckle it is in different form. You have seen that some of the images are with huge amount of illumination. So how you can calculate the illumination or the contrast or the sharpness or the edges, the quality of the edges, connectivity of the edges. So all those things I mean some parameters, four five parameters by which can suggest some the, the quality of the method. Mm -hmm. okay. So we have figured out that three features can be used, focus, motion blur, and the, of the compost quality. Oh, yes. Yes. Can, we can use to, and we, we are in the process of figuring out the more attributes. Mm -hmm. And after we figure out the attributes, then we can train that train, train the, train the function by using these attributes on the sample set, sample data set. And then we can say that we can predict the quality of image. Generally, in high secure system, uh, cryptography is used for secrecy and authenticity of the message. But cryptographic codes are generally uh, very long. Cryptographic keys are long, so and they are difficult to handle. So biometric is integrated uh, with cryptography to generate the keys. What I would be working on is uh, generation of key from the palm print. So. So far, uh, a work has been done uh, in this field with the iris, but uh, with palm print, the advantage that we have is there are algorithms that make use of the uh, valleys and the peaks in the palm to uh, extract the region of interest so that we do not need to orient it uh, before uh, matching it uh, with the existing samples. So what we need to do, uh, there are two things, first of all, we need to extract the minutia points from the palm print. So uh, we need to extract the principal lines first and then identify the minutia points. From the minutia points, we need to generate a feature vector. This feature vector, from this, fe this picture vector would, would be stored as template. And from this feature vector, we can <coughs> generate a function uh, which to generate the key. The function design should take into care uh, the that uh, values even close to the original values can uh, extract the committed values. So, for example, um, <coughs> generally, what uh, hashing functions in strings do for a small changes uh, in the string, the hashing function, the hashed string, is generally changed by 50 to uh, 60 percent. But what we need to consider here is that in the case of palm print, the uh, images will not be uh, will not be exactly the same. So, what we need to do is to is to take into account a function which can um, um, which can handle both uh, uh, two similar images. So, for example, we can allow for 20% deviation in the um, uh, in the first and the second image of the person, and then we can compare. So, the key produced by both the images sh should be the same. So, uh, and apart from that, uh, the extraction of the minutia point uh, can be done by uh, dividing the palm into four segments or, or more segments and then build on this uh, build on this uh, period uh, like if we have five uh, sample images of the palm print we can use uh, them by placing one image over the other image and then uh, we can get a pyramid out of it to uh, store the template 
and so basically uh, you have to generate the key using the hash number. No, but uh, uh, why uh, same thing cannot be done on uh, fingerprint? Maybe uh, better than in fingerprint because on palm. Uh, ah.
so that I get a better uh, chemical uh, crop. But parallelly, second thing which I, I want to do is that uh, if you, the paper says that they have used this curvature, that is the uh, convex, positive uh, convex uh, and negative convex. They have summed this and they have taken a summation on this axis. And when they reach here, uh, wherever, wherever this curvature is named, that is, they will get a V1 in this. So they have taken this as a center line and then they have taken uh, minus uh, 110 and plus 110. So that is how they got this. But now there is one more feature which is uh, which is contrasting in this area in that uh, intensity. Because in all the uh, database images which you have got, there this uh, image has been taken with a uh, constant illumination of LED light. So this part, center part is more or less uh, brighter. This is more brighter than the rest of the image. So now I am trying to take this intensity value of this and then taking a uh, axis and from there calculating this size of the problem. So this is what I am looking for. Implemented is what I have seen. Only the size will not be the same. Yes, that's what it is. It will be increasing by 2 million. I will do it on patient and next thing. Face index. So, I will be searching if the data is efficient. I will be searching for the data. I will be searching for the data. I will be searching for the correlation coefficient. I will compute that. Which is like... You have the index for the program rate, which is like P and like Ah, uh, what do you have? P is what? The index code. We generate the index code of the program. How, how, how are you going to You have the phase. Yes. And how are you going to generate it? Matching the uh, given image to the gallery images, I generate the... Huh? You have one image and... I have the one image and I have the reference images. Reference images? I have the data set. I have an N phase image and you want to index that. Right? There is a problem? Yes. How to index that? I mean, uh, <coughs> the, the, I'll read the index code. Uh, no, what is index code? That is the thing I want to know. You have N images, you want to index them. Am I right? Yes. This is the problem? Yes. So, from the phase, how are you going to do it? I will not get it. Something so clear, so clear to me. You first meet and then decide that what do I present? Because this one person is telling the no state. I know exactly what, where she wants to use. That is clear. Because once I use the no state, I know that from there I will use the distance parameter and then I will have the hash step. Right, but uh, what are you going to do? I know, I know. Well, that's why she is, she is looking for no state. For you, I don't know what uh, you, I don't know. Have you done some work? And you said yes or no? No in between, possibly yes, possibly no. I mean, I've read some basic idea of what is space indexing and something. Idea is nature, you know. I haven't met the mentor yet. I will. Then you remove it, clean the board and meet her. Meet it. Yeah, I have met. 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 Yeah, I have met.
that means basically what you want to do, you want to have the same matching algorithm, you want, you want to use on four figures and add it. And then you are finding that what should be the weight on this figure. That is important for the regression based calculation. So, this code is clear to me. So, it is segmented, input is segmented. This is the Thank you. 